Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome on back to the altars. And in the last episode, we got our base up and running. So you want to check the very end of this video for the playlist in case you want to get to where we are because we're about ready to start playing the quantum computer. What is this? Mine records. Recognize this. It's my life. Yep. I'll go back to the very earliest, and I will slowly go through these so you guys can read them all. Might want to pause the old video, because there's a bunch of them. Aww. Oh my god, finally. Woo! How did they get in it? What for? Oh, just wait. Although it is interesting it deleted the other mines that it had control of. I would have thought I would have wanted to keep those around because you could basically reprint your whole crew and you'd be good. Say, hey, there was an accident. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I checked the quantum computer. What the fuck? Mind records? What the hell are you doing with that data? It's got everything. My whole life exposed. No, no, no I want answers. And what's next? What do you want with it? <laughs> branching? What exactly will be branching? <laughs> what? You what? Is that your whole answer? <laughs> Alter? I alter what? Yep. My life? I've never okay. understood why we want to argue. You mean as in... Okay, wait a minute. You're not suggesting I... use Rapidium to create a... 
someone to alter their mind. That's uh, not what you're saying, right? Please. All right, how about my other options? There aren't any other options. You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? All right. I can see kind of why I split this into at least two videos. This is going to take a bit. Okay, so to do the branching, cost two, and we're going to make a technician. That's all it'll let you do. That would be pretty creepy, praying a new you. Oh my god, that would trip my balls. That would be intense. Now we have a whole nother life. Right? And it gives you a clue. So you are going to have to go and read these because uh, while well, she cooked her pierogi, so I think that is something that goes with both of them. So you have to read both timelines so you know what kind of thing to uh, try to get along with your clones. Because that's another part of this game is being able to get along with your clone. So I become a technician. Still have freaking shit luck. Damn. And that's where we end, huh? Okay. Ooh. 
Ooh, here we go. Boy, you know, it'd probably take me... I'd probably take, like, at least a day thinking about this. Oh, my God. This is just... Jesus. Uh, hey, hey, hey there. Hello, hello. Can can you hear me? Uh, I uh, what is this? Where am I? See that stuff popping on the right side. Okay. Let's see. Focus. This is an emergency, or you're in a lab. Mm, let's go with emergency. There's. Being uh, an emergency, uh, the, the whole crew is dead. I don't know this is abrupt, but I, I'll need you to focus. Oh, focus. Wait, wait. Why are you? What the fuck is going on here? In my head. Oh, why do I feel so weird? I think you're on some meds. What? What for? So you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. But can you? You first. I insist. All right. Jan Dolsky, senior technician at Ally Corp. Mining Operations. There. Did I pass? Wow. Amazing. It actually worked. What? What worked? And who, what the hell are you anyway? This may be hard to process, but my name is Jan Dolsky, too. Huh? <laughs> of course it is. Now you're not bad for an imitation, but what the hell are you? Is this some kind of experiment? Hmm? Because if it is, nobody warned me. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So what's going on? Well... I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it, because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know. It's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're an alternate version of me with a different mind? No. You're an alternate version of me. And, uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die so wait let me get this straight this is not an experiment I'm a different version of you and you brought me to life to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board what if there was no malfunction where would I be you'd 
still yeah in an alternate reality exist somewhere theoretically at least theoretically wow you bastard i can see now what the meds are for mm -hmm. i can't even lash out at you just this passiveness what am i look this is a lot and we'll sort it out i promise but trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. case I'd say don't touch anything here ever again but unfortunately this is a two-man job on my sign pull that lever over there just don't yank it like an idiot pull it gently ready one two three now yes <laughs> it worked you did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. All right, go start the engine in the command center. That is not the engine or the command center. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Nope. Here we go. Start the journey. Um. Yeah, we'll collect everything. Especially because it's a demo. And we don't know where it's going. Ooh, and we're moving. Okay. Open the altars, come ground. Okay. Here we go. Check on the mental and physical state of the altars. Pissed off. Alright, maybe now it'll let me talk to him. Oh, here we go. Hey there. I said... I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. I you're pissed off at me now, but deep down, we both know you do the same thing. Really? You said it yourself. We might look alike, but we're different. Like oil and water, if you ask me. And they don't mix well. Maybe. But you won't last long without me, just as I couldn't make it without you. In a situation like this, hiding in a trench is just plain stupid. I'll tell you what's stupid. Listening to someone who created you because he needs a fucking tool. Why don't you 
get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit. I'm done doing your dirty work. Okay. Tom's room is messed up, so we need to go... Craft a repair kit. Oh, one more down. Oh, two more down. It's interesting our time has stopped. Although the radiation rad looks like it's going up. Uh, hello? Uh, Mr. Dalski? Yeah, yes, I'm 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 here. Are you okay? Are you serious? I just had a choice to either die in pain or duplicate and edit myself. I'm far from okay. It's uh, called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Uh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? You left me no choice. Doesn't mean I like what I did. Is this even legal? You found Rapidium, Mr. Dalski. We needed to act. Okay. What went wrong with the landing? What the hell? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. Well, duh. No kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. All right. So you get me out of here. So you're getting me out of here. Right? You know how to do it. Safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Second thing. Do you think I could see this altar of yours? That's not a good idea. He's pissed off at me. Won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. You won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You are so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out, see what happens. Shit, I, uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. L7 out. Hmm, I don't know about that.
Okay, so it didn't really do much there. Man, dude likes hanging in the kitchen. I've been thinking about what you said. You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. I'm serious. You stood up to Dad. I didn't. Oh, really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I'd just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. Now build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around in here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she... ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. Oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah. Wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make Mom's famous pierogi? I'm no way we'd find the ingredients here. Um, yeah, let's go beer and synthetic starch. Uh, yeah. Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah, hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. You die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Okay, so now we need to make it. Come over here. Nope, that's not what we do. Um, here we go. Here you are, the famous Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh, <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right. Yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But you remember what she did. Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no. She said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, they're delicious, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So there we go. Okay, so now it says talk to him, so we talk to him. 
So... So... How do you feel? Great. A serving of dehydrated dumplings completely changed my outlook on the situation. I feel so optimistic about life now. You know, whoever they got to voice act this, if this is the actual guy's doing, I can't wait to see all the different variations on his voice. Ah, uh, they weren't that bad. Now you're being mean. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. But you made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier to thank you, but eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay, okay, just kidding. I know what you mean. I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... All right, all right. Just tell me what the plan is. Yeah, we... Uh, fuck the corporation. We need to handle this our way. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of pen pushers. Yep. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. Right, so until the rescue ship arrives, we better watch our own asses. They know about me. They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. Tell me you know what to do. <sighs> I kind of do. We keep talking to that dude. He'll he'll give us various tasks to complete. We need to cl complete them as efficiently as possible, and we'll survive. Of course, it's simple. We need to stick together and stay away from the sun. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Yeah, versions of us. Because I would assume uh, we're gonna do different branchings off different points of our timeline, then his timeline, then the timeline after that, so that we can continue to make these weird characters. Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. That almost sounded like we're planning kids. Yeah. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. Actually, I can't wait to branch myself again. Sure. Take the bull by the horns. Good luck keeping him happy. Mm-hmm. No shit. Are you real? More real than you, I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane, what a trip. It's not a trip, it's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we... Brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Well, you look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No. You're not hallucinating. Do you 
remember who you are? My name is Jan Dolsky, but I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. Alrighty, folks, and there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, let me know down in the comments, who do you think we should make next? Should it be the doctor, the refiner, the miner? What do you think the game's going to have us do next? I don't know. I'm thinking like a psychologist, doctor, maybe, something like that. So man can help with all the, the cuckoo crazies that we're going to create. I don't know. But again, if you guys want to see more of this, smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments when the game comes out. Worst case scenario, I'll buy it myself to play for you guys. Got to do that sometimes. But as always, it's up to you. So keep your heads down. Your Warriors of Doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.